So this is a very conceptual problem where you will learn to relate linear SHM with angular SHM. So this is a pendulum which is undergoing SHM. So you know that for a small variation in the angle, we take this to be a straight line. And we consider that to be a simple pendulum with SHM and time period 2 pi root L by G. So that that uh, SHM can be analyzed either in terms of the linear motion where the displacement is x and velocity is v or the same thing can be analyzed in angular form where the angular displacement is theta and angular velocity is omega dash. Now this omega dash is not the time period this is just the angular velocity of the bob. The actual omega of the SHM that we know is root g by L, which is a constant. But here omega dash is the angular velocity. So you can imagine this angular velocity will change. So here it will be maximum. Then when it reaches its extreme, omega dash will be zero. Just like when it is at the mean position, then x is zero. And when it, it reaches the maximum, then x becomes amplitude. V at the equilibrium is v max and when it reaches extreme it becomes zero so these relations between angular and linear shms is what we are going to learn in this problem so we are going to analyze not analyze we are going to use analogies of linear shm and relate it to the angular ones so let's start find the time dependence of the angle of deviation so we need to find theta as a function of time. So this theta as a function of time. If the pendulum was deviated through an angle and then set free. So let's say it's being taken to an extreme and then set free. So in the case of linear SHM, our equation will then be x equal to a cos omega t. So this is the equation when the particle starts from the extreme. So if this is x equal to zero and it starts here, then the equation is x equal to a cos omega t. Analogous situation in angular SHM will be theta is equal to theta naught cos omega t. So you can find that also in this way, if you can write x is equal to L theta and a will be L theta naught. So L will get cancelled and you will get theta is equal to theta naught cos omega t. But the derivation is not important, main is just that we are writing the analogous situation in angular SHM form. So this is the answer of the first part. Theta naught they have given the extreme angle is 3 degree and omega we have already seen. So omega is root g by L that is 3.5. So omega is constant for either if you consider a linear SHM or you take angular SHM. B part it is in equilibrium and then it's important some velocity. So when the particle is at equilibrium and it's given some velocity, we know that is the maximum velocity and that is related as V0 is equal to omega A. So again, analogous equation in angular SHM will be omega dash. So this is the maximum velocity, sorry, maximum angular velocity here is equal to omega theta naught. Now, why are we doing all that? Because we need theta naught in this equation. So omega dash is not given to us, but velocity at equilibrium is given. So omega dash we can write as omega v naught by L. And from here we get theta naught is equal to v naught by L omega. So now because the particle is starting at the equilibrium so at t is equal to zero, not starting. I mean, it is at equilibrium at t is equal to zero. So we know our equation will be theta naught sine omega t. So we are assuming it's pushed towards right. So our original equation for in terms of x would have been x is equal to a sin omega t and analogous equation is theta is equal to theta naught, theta naught sin omega t. So I'll put the value of theta naught here and omega will be this and this will be our answer. Third is it is deviated through a certain angle and then a velocity is imparted towards the equilibrium. So now this is a bit complicated so let's see it in phase phasor form. So this is our equilibrium and it's at certain point and then it is pushed towards the equilibrium with certain velocity. So this is in terms of angular terms, but 
the circle and where the particle stands that you can understand in linear asymptotic terms also so if this is the x equilibrium it is uh, it is moved to a certain location and then it is given a velocity towards the equilibrium so that is the case now again in this situation where certain velocity is given and we know the position we use this formula v is equal to omega root a square minus x square so again analogous form will be omega dash is equal to omega root theta not square minus theta square actually i should write here omega dash not just one second all right so this is velocity maximum velocity and this is maximum angular velocity omega not dash but this is general velocity when it's at a position x and this is angular velocity when it's at an angle theta so omega dash equivalent analogous equation is omega dash is equal to omega root theta not square minus theta square so here again they have given the velocity so we'll write omega dash in terms of velocity so omega dash is v by l and theta they have given as 3 degree so we put that so solving this we get the term of theta not so now you can see in the phase diagram it starts here and it's pushed towards center so you can see theta is the projection of this theta not on x axis so at t is equal to 0 it is phi and after that the angle is turning by omega t so the projection will be theta not cos phi plus omega t so theta is equal to theta not cos omega t plus phi and phi so initial this length is 3 degree so initial theta is 3 degree let me mark that also so cos theta is theta i upon theta not i mean cos phi so phi is cos inverse theta i by theta not and theta i is 3 degree and theta not is 5.4 degree so this comes to be one radian so again a very concept conceptual problem you just attempt it two three times until you are very fluent in whatever we have discussed here so this phase diagram for example so same phase diagram you can draw for the linear sgm also so and this will be initial x this will be the amplitude and this phi will be same either it is theta or it is x and similarly omega will also be same so omega of the sgm yeah very good problem